there are about 2,300 towns and cities in the whole of India. But you will be surprised to know that only about one tenth of them, that's about 230 of them only, have town sewerage. Most of these towns and cities have water shortages to a greater or smaller degree. Even though they have reasonably good rain or really good rain. What is the reason for this type of situation? The reason behind this is the change in the movement of water. In the early days, when there was no town sewerage, each household had a shallow dug well, what's called the traditional bai or canary or bavi. From it they drew the water for the needs. The water that was used in the kitchen went out and irrigated a clump of bananas. The water that was used for bathing and washing of clothes irrigated the coconut palms and other garden plants and then went down into the soil. The water from the closets went into the septic tank and the effluent coming from the septic tank went into the surrounding soil so which cleaned you it. see all the water that was drawn from the well from the soil was returned to the same soil and the soil cleaned it up and gave it back for reuse again through the same dug well this year you here you have a very very beautiful cyclic moment of water which sustained the household in the present day what has happened town sewerage came in the early part of the century and that came the sewage went out from the soil from the plot into the town sewerage then came apartment complexes with the advent of apartment complexes all the water all the old water went into the town sewerage and from there it went into some treatment plant and into the waterways and finally ended up into the sea. So now you have a moment of water which is lateral from the cities away into the sea. So that is one of the main reasons why we have water shortages in our towns and cities. Rainfall. In the earlier days when rainfall occurred, some of it absorbed or absorbed into the soil but most of it went out into the road storm water drain and they reached some waterway. Today most of the open areas around the building are paved because of the needs of two wheelers and four wheelers. So no rainfall gets absorbed into the soil within any plot. What is the position in the so towns and cities we don't have sewerage. It is still a cyclic medium, cyclic uh, passage, but not very satisfactory. With the increase in the population density, the volume load on the septic tank has sharply increased and the soil area available is unable to deal with the increased volume that is coming out. As a result, the effluent from the septic tank is still inadequately treated and it contaminates the shallow water table. As a result, people do not draw water from the shallow water table but dig deep bore wells which often yield poorly or yield hard water or have uh, uh, other contaminants like iron. Can we improve so that we can get self-reliance by drawing the water from our own premises. Yes, we can. What is that is needed to be done? Is it very costly? No. Is it very difficult? No. The water used for bathing and washing of clothes is excellent quality used water. This can be easily cleaned in the garden and taken back for reuse. We are in front of the place where the water from the bathrooms is coming. The water used for bathing and washing of clothes is coming down. See it is coming down and there is a gully right below through which it normally goes 
and reaches the internal sewage line. Okay. But if you want to do the grey water recycling, what we have done is we have introduced the second gully and diverted the water through from there to into the second gully through a pipe. See? And then this water from this gully is connected through a concealed piping below the ground and reaching the uh, canal bed. You can see the inlet pipe to the canal bed coming from the uh, point where the pipes from the bathroom come down. To clean up this uh, grey water, the water used for bathing and washing of clothes, you need about 2.5 square feet of soil area per person. If there is any problem with the uh, canal bed for any reason, all that we have to do is to disconnect the uh, pipe and then the water from the bathroom goes directly into the gully below and goes away through internal sewage line. So maintenance is not a problem at all. And in normal manner the water goes into the cannabis. And See these cannabis plants are looking very small because they have just been planted and within three months to four months they will be growing six, seven feet tall. You see? And they will become very bushy. So much so, within a year, you will have to remove those plants and replant them as in this manner. Otherwise, when they become very bushy, the water flow throughout the area is not taking place. The water has to flow over the entire area of the bed in order to have effective cleaning. So, they have, this was very bushy a month back, they have removed this and planted the cannas in this way at a distance. It is evident that the recycling of grey water is essential to maintain the cyclical flow of water in a household. It may not be possible to use this water for portable purposes, but it is very much possible for it to be reused for non-portable uses such as toilet flushing and gardening. Grey water recycling therefore should go hand in hand with rainwater harvesting in individual homes as well as apartment complexes to reach a considerable level of decentralization in terms of water supply.